Hey there, it's Darcy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a New Yorker. I'm in my 20s and currently I'm back home in the suburbs of Chicago because of everything that's going on right now. Um, and this is a day in my life right now a little bit. I mean, I'm not really like formulating it as a day in my life but more just like how I'm being productive at home right now and I personally really miss coffee shops that's like my favorite absolute favorite place to work and obviously there are so many cute ones in New York so I decided that I would be filming a little how to make a coffee shop at home video because I've been vibing with that a little bit recently and why not so also, if you're wondering, my t-shirt is like from high school. I did not bring enough clothing here, so we've been sporting some interesting things. The shirt is from like 2013. <laughs> Few of you might know it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're up to. So the first step to my coffee shop vibe is of course getting the coffee. So I have been drinking cold brew recently. Um, I've been obsessed with the Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's Vanilla Cold Brew for several months now um it's great it comes in a can you can refrigerate it you don't have to refrigerate it like it's non-perishable kind of thing um which is great and then i just usually have it with ice and a mason jar for a vibe um but then today i actually had costco's brand kirkland their cold brew um which is pretty good i just started drinking it because i certainly don't normally go to costco in new york but my dad goes to costco here so we thought we'd try it um and it's a little more or a little more bitter but i also really like it so that's what i'm drinking today so like i said some ice in a mason jar is a vibe but obviously you can drink whatever you have whatever your drink of choice is now my next step would normally be to tidy up my workspace but my workspace is actually pretty tidy right now because i have been using it a lot um but i think that makes a big difference because when you're at a coffee shop you get there and the table's like empty or it should be um and i just think having like a clear space makes such a big difference because then i don't know at least for me it helps like clear my mind and like focus on like the things like usually all i have out is like kind of to do list some ideas that kind of thing so i can really just focus on that as well as like whatever i'm working on on my laptop <laughs> I do think it's really important to be sitting at a desk. I know it can be so tempting to do work in your bed or on your couch. Um, and I actually don't really have a desk in New York. And it's definitely like a lot harder to be productive then. But I love that I have like a nice little L desk set up here because my dad actually, when I'm not home, uses my room as an office. So I have his desk and my old desk um, and a nice little L. So it's a good setup i really like it and then the next thing is i think you should pick somewhere that has a lot of natural light i always gravitate towards coffee shops with a lot of natural light because even though you're inside especially right now it's nice to like feel connected to the outside so mine's right by a window if it's nice out i can open the window um otherwise i can just get you know some nice light and it's vibe i think it really does help your mental health and to stay kind of focused and present One thing that can be frustrating about actual coffee shops is if there's not enough plugs and the perk of being at home is you can make sure there are so i have like a power strip over here there's also an extra one over there like i can always have everything i need plugged in which is usually just my laptop but sometimes camera battery charger my phone you know the works um so pro tip so that you're not like moving around later just like make sure you have that set up i think that really helps really been vibing with is playing music or some sort of background noise so I usually will uh, Google not Google I will usually search Spotify 
for coffee shop playlists there's a ton um sometimes in, i'm in the mood for jazz sometimes i'm in the mood for sort of acoustics there's all sorts of different options there though and the nice thing you can pick what you want in a coffee shop you can't so you know sometimes it really just depends on the baristas that are there that day um sometimes i'll just listen to my normal music like just like pop playlists that i've made um and i haven't really done this before but i just looked it up and on youtube you can search like coffee shop background noise and so you can literally like have white noise kind of stuff that feels like a coffee shop which is totally the move if you are interested now that i have my coffee and my music picked out and my setup it's time to get down to the to-do list and the brainstorming and down to the actual work now if you're wondering what i've been working on because as many of you know i'm not really working full time right now i've been working on like a lot of different things actually i've been keeping pretty busy um i don't know if any of you have noticed hopefully you have that i've been posting like two times a week because i just like really want to be on my youtube game and really just want to be practicing editing and creating videos because i could really see myself doing that right now I'd love to like do that more full time somehow and or freelance so that's sort of what i've been working on a lot but today i actually want to work on looking for jobs a little bit because with everyone getting laid off to be honest i haven't been super motivated to look for jobs because i know a lot of places aren't hiring have paused hiring so i've just been putting it off but i need to just kind of see like what is out there right now and you know um i also want to try and do some writing i at my old job did more writing but got kind of burnt out on it so i do want to like try and get into it again again i've just been kind of putting it off um but i've just like been really enjoying youtube and wanting to work on it so yeah and if i am successful on that i might film a video later but that would be um i'm gonna you know try and get the stuff i don't want to do out of the way first and let's go be productive been good i'm trying to get some freelance stuff going um for a few publications that i'm interested in nothing crazy but just like get back into getting some writing published because i haven't been published in a few months so i think that would be good for me right now and i'm almost out of coffee so i need to go get some more i usually have like half a can at a time because sometimes i like don't want more than that um but I think I'm gonna go for some more today. I just got a video up and also got off the phone with my therapist, so that was good. Now I need to eat some lunch. It is about almost two o'clock, so I'm hungry and I'm feeling feeling pretty good about the day. draft of the article i was working on done i also filmed a video it's been a productive day which is good honestly just like getting coffee shop vibes makes such a difference i'm just like always more productive when i feel like i'm in a coffee shop space i just i can't really explain it but you know like probably a lot of people feel similarly maybe um so now my family and i we usually have like a nice evening together we usually go for a walk um play games and or um kind of watch something 
and yeah we're getting chinese takeout tonight oh that was another thing i was going to say is um you should get coffee takeout from your local coffee shops if you can i think that's a great way to support your local businesses i love supporting local coffee shops i've been doing that a few times so highly recommend if you want to like amp up your coffee shop game uh, but also just getting takeout food in general is super helpful for local businesses so that's one thing i've been trying to do since i feel like there's not like a ton of things i can do right now to help but that's one so Alright, it is about 9.30 now and I am about to go take a shower and then have some quiet time. Um, it was a very productive day though, so like, I feel like this was a good day to vlog, a more productive day. There are many days that are not like this, so I honestly think it's so important right now to not put pressure on yourself to get you know as much work done as you might normally. Um, I read something on Instagram that was along the lines of like, we're not working from home, we're trying to uh, be at home and work so it's just like a challenging time but i do think if you can try and utilize this time it's great so hopefully this inspired you guys to you know make your little coffee shop situation maybe help inspire you and also know at the end of the day it's like good to just like you know do what you need to do take care of yourself so i had fun um going for a walk with my family and playing some games with them and i think i have um an episode and a half left of tiger king so here we are and I'm probably gonna finish that up uh tonight and or tomorrow night depending on how much i feel like watching so yeah that's gonna be it for this vlog and thanks so much for watching subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you all um, later Don't mind me, just gonna do a little time lapse.